Namaste, welcome to Bauna's Kitchen. Today I'm back with one more air fryer recipe. Today I'm making Gujarati traditional hand wok into the air fryer. Yes, it makes the great hand wok. I have been looking for an alternative to uh, prepare the hand wok quickly because my younger son Akash loved to take hand wok in his uh, school lunch box. So I have been thinking of ways to prepare the hand wok quickly in the morning. Hand wok can be prepared using a variety of vegetables such as cabbage, carrot, zucchini, bottle core, uh, any of your favorite vegetables that you can think of. Um, today I'm making hand wok with zucchini and cabbage. And uh, there are a few ways to prepare the batter. You can uh, prepare instant batter using semolina and basin. Or you can follow the traditional way which is made using rice and dals. I have already shared the traditional way of uh, making hanwo and also the instant way of making the hanwo. So you can watch those video. In this video, I'm going to prepare the instant hanwo. So let's begin making air fryer hanwo. Now to make the batter, I'm using one cup of rova, soji or semolina and quarter cup of basin, half tablespoon sugar, optional salt to taste, mix all dry ingredients really well. Next, wet ingredients, here I have half cup of yogurt, plain yogurt, two tablespoon oil, ginger and green chili as per your taste. And here I have a quarter cup of water, but I'm going to add little at a time. And using this spoon, mix it really well. A little bit more water. And prepare the lump free batter. With rava, it is easy to prepare the batter. It doesn't get lumpy. And I'm going to add the rest of the water now. Mix really well and Keep the batter on a side to rest a little bit, about 10-15 minutes only. Prepare the baking tray. Grease the tray with oil. And here I have curry leaves. What I normally do, I place the curry leaf at the bottom of the tray. This helps to infuse all the flavors into the hand wool and keep the tray aside for the tempering seasoning take oil into the small wok on a medium to high heat keep the lid handy when you see the little smoke coming out of the oil add mustard seeds rice and let them crack when they start spluttering turn off the stove and cover the lid to prevent the mess. Remove from the stove. Now coming back to the batter. Into the batter I'm going to add few more ingredients. Now you can add as for your preference you can add omit ingredients. For the vegetables I'm taking zucchini and cabbage. Here I have ground coriander cumin powder, tanya jeera powder and of course haldi that you can add with all other dry ingredients when you prepare the batter. Here I have baking powder. I do not add baking powder until I'm ready to bake handwo. And here I have ground peanut, which is optional, but I kind of like to add as much nutrition as I can. So first I'm going to add ground peanut, ground coriander cumin, turmeric, Haldi and I'm also going to add half teaspoon of baking powder. Mix all ingredients really well. Make sure your batter is not watery at any point. 
so you can choose to add water at the end actually but I kind of like to soak my batter for about 15-20 minutes for the better result so without water it wouldn't do the job well so just a little bit of water in the beginning and then you can add water as needed now ready to add zucchini you can also add bottle guard do the carrot the tons of vegetable options for you to choose from so I'm using zucchini and cabbage mix it again so now as you can see that the batter actually is just perfect not watery or not too thick just right vegetables do release water if you keep the batter again to rest but in this case I'm not going to wait anymore I'm already ready to prepare handle so bring this on the side and bring the tray or the batter now if you want crispy thin hand wool then just make thin layer of batter like so here I have sesame seeds I'm going to sprinkle on top this again helps to bring more crunchiness and leftover curry leaves on the top now you can tear apart and add into the batter as well and pour the prepared turka on the top and the tray is ready to go into the air fryer Preheat an air fryer at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 3 minutes, 3 to 5 minutes. I'm going to do 3 minutes and start. When the air fryer is preheated, take out the pan and carefully place the handwork tray and pop the tray back into the air fryer. And this time I'm going to set the air fryer at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes and start. My first tip for making handwo into the air fryer is that find the right baking tray that fits into your air fryer. Another way if you don't want to use any kind of a baking tray you can simply bake directly into the air fryer in that case uh, you can use the foil or you can use foil tray or whatever you have on hand all right so handwall has been baking for 15 minutes and let's check if it is not done to your desired level you can pop it back in but let me show you how awesome it looks look at the nice golden brown color just perfect color the way i want my hand wool carefully remove the tray from the air fryer pan and bring down onto the heat proof surface when the tray has cooled remove the ring and you can see the hand wool look at it thin crispy hand wool remove it from the tray and bring it down on to the serving plate here I have my second batch of hand wool ready as well and I'm going to show you how it looks like inside as you can see perfectly well baked hand wool and it is soft inside, crispy outside. So here I have hand wool ready baked into the air fryer. You can see the perfect texture on the top, lightly golden brown. And this hand wool can also be your tea time snack as 
it can be prepared quickly and I am so ready to dig into it. Mm. Tastes amazing. Crunchy outside with all those sesame seeds. Yummy. I'm so glad that now I can prepare handwo fresh in the morning with the perfect portion. This is the exact portion that I can give to my uh, son in his lunchbox. I hope you enjoyed watching this video making handwo into the air fryer. You can visit my website baunaskitchen.com for many other recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and many other social pages um, under Baunas Kitchen. Thank you for watching and see you soon.